Hey guys, this is Michael here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Nintendo Switch games on your phone. So if you're using an Android phone, this is what you want to do. And the first thing you want to do is download a Nintendo Switch emulator. And you can easily do this when you open your browser and search for Edin emulator. You find several options here. Now, when you tap on the official website in this section, this will take you here to check the operating system which can use this. Tap on download in this section and you find Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android operating system. So you'll be able to download it for any of these devices. If you want to get more information about the system requirement, you can come back here and then tap on system requirement. Here you'll be able to see the system requirement for any operating system you choose to download for. So you can go through this and know the minimum system requirement for your device. If it checks out, means you can download the emulator. Now to download, you can go back to download in this section, tap on download and you'll be able to download for any of your operating system. If you're using an Android phone, you also find the app in your app store. So simply open the app store on your device and then search for Edin Emulator. Now you see the Edin Emulator in this section. If for some reason it's currently not available in the app store for you to download, here's what you want to do instead. You can go back to your browser. And then when you search for Edin Emulator, you see the option for GitHub. Tap in this section here, and this will open GitHub. If you scroll down here, you'll be able to see all the downloadable files and different versions of the Edin Emulator. Now, once the app has been downloaded, the next thing is to open the app and then allow all necessary permission. Tap on Get Started in this section, and then go ahead and grant all permission. Now, for this to work, you need a product key. Tap on Select in this section. And then go to the file location where you saved the product key. I'm going to leave all necessary links in the description. Tap on the product key and open it. And then tap on the first option, which is the product key in this section. And then the second step is for the firmware. Tap on select again in this section. Go to the appropriate location. And then upload the zip file. Once uploaded, you see imported successfully in this section. Lastly, is to import the game. Tap on add and then go to the game file. So if you have multiple games in this section here, you'll be able to upload them. Now the files you want to use are the Nintendo game files. Tap on use this folder and then tap on allow. Check on deep scan and then tap on OK. Once you're done, tap on continue. And then tap on close. This will load all the games. So I currently just have the Silk Song which you're seeing here. Now before we get started initiating the game, you want to tap on the settings in this section here. Now you see option to help you configure your gameplay. You see the advanced settings in this section. You find the system, graphic, performance, overlay, device, audio, debug, and many more. You also see controls for player controls in this section, GPU driver, tap on close in this section. And for your device, you want to tap on fetch. You find different GPUs for your device. And if you download it from an external source, you can tap on install in this section. And you'll be able to upload the GPU model. You also find things such as multiplayer, applet launcher, manage editing data, manage game folder, verify install content, share debug, and many more. So if you want to do things such as how it displays or improve the overall gameplay, you will always find it in the advanced option section under system and graphic. You can turn off limit speed in this section, dock mode to increase resolution and decrease performance. You also find other options here. While the graphic, you'll be able to choose accuracy level. You can put it on high or extremely high, depending on your mobile capacity. Resolution in this section, you can choose different resolution type for your screen in this section here. Now, when you start going to a higher resolution, you would expect that the game will be slow. This still depends on your mobile capacity. Force maximum clock forces the GPU to run at the maximum possible clock. You can also scroll down and under display, you see other things such as the orientation. If you want to change the orientation type, aspect ratio in this section, you can stretch to window. This will stretch the display to fit your phone display. Now, once you're done with all the customizations you need to do, you can still play the game with the default setting, you can go back and then launch your game. Tap on OK in this section. And this will immediately start launching your game. Now while playing the game, you can swipe from the left to show more menu. So let me know in the comment section what kind of game you play with this emulator. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found this video helpful. 
If you do find this video helpful, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and have the post notification turned on.